I am I. Now I'm sure you guys are all familiar with Iron Man as his character was the one that kickstarted the MCU. The movie rendition of Iron Man is probably the one that most people are familiar with. And honestly, I'd argue that this is the most heroic version of this character. I mean, this man literally 1v1 Thanos. Oh, great heavens! Tiger! Yeah, unfortunately he lost this battle. He also sacrificed himself in Endgame, which is like the most heroic thing you could do. My name is Jeff. He needs some milk! And this means that most people are unaware of the terrible things that this man has done in the comics. So I'm here to enlighten you all on all of the diabolical, most devious acts of villainy that this superhero has committed over the years. Now Iron Man is by no means a perfect character, but holy shit, the stuff that he did in this era was terrible. Now if we use the power of digital editing to enhance the picture, uh, zoom into that guy in the background, who is that guy? Why that's none other than Bill Foster, friend to Hank Pym and fellow scientist and superhero. As you can see, his powers include getting really big. So the first major battle between both sides ensued, and in this panel Thor faced- Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, he didn't survive that. Also, that wasn't actually Thor that he was fighting, that was a robot clone that Iron Man made. Uh, so Iron Man indirectly killed him. Luckily though, uh, you know, Thor finds out about this and beats his ass. Yeah, but um, he's still dead. Like, this story came out in 2006, it, it, I mean, it's 2023 now, and he's, he's still dead, so. Yeah, not very cash money of Iron Man to indirectly, permanently kill a fellow superhero, and also make a robot clone of his friend without his knowledge. But, but you know, it, it only gets worse. This wouldn't be the first time that he fucked over a friend. Like I mentioned in my previous Spider-Man video, Iron Man was on the pro registration side, he was leading it. Uh, he convinced Spider-Man to reveal his identity, which is pretty fucked up. Uh, you know, Spider-Man paid the price for that. Iron Man almost nearly killed Spider-Man too, when he decided to switch sides. This is because anyone going against the pro registration side is considered a criminal. And uh, the pro registration side decides it's a, a great idea to let supervillains uh, hunt down rogue fugitive superheroes. They, yeah, yeah. let's let the super villains hunt down the, the superheroes, and we're the good guys, right? This man is so smart, but yet didn't foresee that villains would want to murder superheroes. Where was the Hulk during the Civil War? He would have really turned the tides. Uh, well, he was shot into space by, uh, by Iron Man and the Illuminati, so... For those of you that don't know, the Illuminati is a collective of the most brilliant minds in the Marvel Universe. So yeah, basically the Illuminati thought that the Hulk was too great of a danger, so they decided to banish him by sending him to a peaceful planet. Wow, what a great friend Tony Stark is, agreeing to send his fellow Avenger slash friend slash colleague into fucking space to banish him forever. What the fuck? All because he lost control and attacked Las Vegas like... This man Hulk attacks at, like, ha this happens all the time, bro. Oh no, the Hulk lost control. Yeah, what's new? What's new? Tell me something I don't know. But no, when he attacks Las Vegas, that's, that's the last straw. Banish him. Banish him from this world. Remember all the countless times this man saved the world? Fuck that. Doesn't matter. He, he, he took down Caesar's palace. Get him out of here. So the Hulk is understandably mad and then, you know, starts damaging the ship and the ship gets sent off course and then he ends up crash landing on a gladiator slave planet but it's like the illuminati like you guys are so smart you couldn't account for him you know fucking up the ship what, huh like no fail safes or anything uh, uh, all right okay 
and you guys are supposed to be smart or something. So yeah, the Hulk becomes a popular gladiator slave hero and then joins the rebellion to overthrow the king of that planet and becomes a new king. And then he gets married and then his wife is pregnant and everything is looking good for the Hulk, you know, like maybe it was a good idea to send him to this planet, if anything. This just shows that the Hulk is a fucking hero. He literally fucking liberated a planet. Anyways, you know, everything's looking good, right? You remember that ship, that, that ship that uh, the Hulk crash landed on? Uh, yeah, it fucking exploded and it killed his pregnant wife. Wah, wah. I read about a, a, did you say want want? So, uh, so good job Illuminati, that's real, real good design there. <laughs> Amazing design. Yeah, that's just, that's real genius, you know. The, why not create a ship with a self-destruct sequence? Why, why would you ever need a self-destruct sequence in anything you ever invent? I, I, I what are you, doofenshmirtz? Like, I don't understand. So the Hulk is very understandably mad and he gathers his troops up and invades Earth and wages war against the entire world. All because they sent him into space. Like this could have been, uh, this could have been avoided entirely. Bruh, wow, what a great friend Tony is. You know, he, he cloned Thor, he, he almost killed Spider-Man, and then he banished the Hulk. Amazing. Now surely he wouldn't do anything to Daredevil, right? Superior Iron Man is a comic run where Iron Man's morality was flipped. Essentially, there's this big major event in Marvel Comics uh, called Axis where um, certain villains and heroes had their moralities flipped. So the villains had good moralities and then the heroes had bad moralities. And Iron Man was one of those heroes. So Iron Man decides to contaminate the entire water supply of the city of San Francisco with a modified version of the extremist virus. Now the extremist virus is essentially like a super soldier serum. Iron Man then proceeded to create an app called the Extremist 3.0 app. Now this app allowed users to change how they looked, so basically they could, you know, achieve the perfect appearance. The funny thing about the app is that it claimed to uh, download the extremist into your body, but in reality, everyone was already infected with it because because he poisoned the water supply. So this app is basically a drug that Iron Man created and he gets the entire city of San Francisco addicted to it. Well, I mean, he already contaminated everyone with the virus, so surely the, the app can't be that expensive, right? What the hell? No way! Why did he do this? Uh, because he thought it was funny. So Daredevil finds out about this and he tries to put a stop to it. So Iron Man decides to give him his sight back using the extremist virus uh, in order to buy his silence and cooperation. And when that doesn't work, he gives him brain damage and makes him forget. And that is yet another superhero Iron Man has fucked over. Let's add it to the list. <laughs> 